Hey guys, how's it going? I know it's been a while. It's been a while, hasn't it? Um, well, I have to, to be honest with you. I haven't gotten much done uh, in the last week or so that it's been since I released an episode. Um, I think the only thing I really did was add this roof. Tell me how you guys like it. I like it. I think it's kind of neat and interesting. Um, but I've just been I've just been busy uh, with real life stuff as of right now. Um, I just haven't had, whoa, some of these, I don't like, I liked having few sounds and not like all these different options because now I don't know what to do. So yeah, we are, you know, the far side servers on the um, most recent snapshot. So we are at, uh, what is that, 38C. Um, so we have. You know, this snooper setting, or the super secret setting and all this stuff. Um, does some pretty cool stuff. All these added extra features. So frame rate now is unlimited. Instead of 12 chunks by default, we're loading 16 chunks at a time. Um, yeah, yeah, that's about it. Wumbo is not saying hi to me. I died, by the way. I died. But, uh... Wumbo is not saying hi to me, so I got to go check out what is going on with him while he's not saying hi. Um, but I also was on the other day when I was doing this ceiling. I just hopped down for a little bit because I had a little bit of time. Um, and I was like, you know what? I could do, I could do this like permanently sort of thing. Um, to where I could put maybe a pressure plate here or something. A row of pressure plates, uh, the stone ones, maybe. A stone of the, pr uh, not the stone ones, the, the iron ones, or maybe even gold. Ooh, we could incorporate a little gold. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll incorporate gold ones there. Maybe put some gold ones here, or maybe even these two, and then put something here. Like I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But put some pressure plates here that activate these and actually take these that like up and down like this. So, um, what it will, what it will be like then is these will be down as stone, as these stone stairs. These will be down like normal, just like they would now if, uh, if it wasn't activated. So if I'm like, if I'm like down here or go somewhere, then this will, those will be down. So then that will open. Then as soon as I walk past it, 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 op it closes behind me so that, uh, so that mobs can't get in. And that will be kind of the safeguard for the way it will be. So that's something I kind of want to work on today. I haven't decided how I want to do it. I haven't decided if I want to do a T flip-flop type of, of uh, implementation where it goes up and it just stays up. And then next time I go down, it goes down type of thing. Or if I want to just have it a quick pulse go up and down. Um, I'm kind of thinking the T flip-flop. Uh, considering I have the room down there to do it. So... Yeah, um, I have a couple ideas down here too that I want to implement. I don't know when I'll get to it. Uh, but one thing I'd like to do, I thought, is when I walk down here, and since these are going to eventually open up something to do with this sky view, because I want something automated when I come down here, um, that I think it will open up a sky view sort of thing, and then maybe open up a secret door over here, that leads down to a brewing station like I had mentioned. And then I'd make all three of these brewing. Um, so yeah, I haven't quite decided yet though. And then maybe... Uh, and then maybe put a fourth chest up. Fourth row up on the top. I don't know. I haven't decided. I've thought about putting the fourth row up top. And then putting glowstone above it. Since... Glowstone, hmm, glowstone's over here, I think, nope, uh, nope, 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 there you go, glowstone is actually going to be right in with the nether, where's the nether, um, since glowstone does not, uh, prevent you from opening these, I thought maybe, you know, that's not too revealing, and it'd be a nice little light source, so let's get our pickaxe. Nope. Oh, that's what I need down here. I need to move this guy down here. Never even thought of that. Uh-oh. Where are my tools? Oh, yeah, I actually put them in there. I thought I was keeping that stuff in there. 
Silk touch. There we go. Silk touch it. There we go. Perfect. So I'm gonna go check out what Wombo is doing and show you guys. Show you guys Wombo's place a little bit, and we will uh, be back. Well, guys, this is Wombo's base. For those of you that aren't subbed to Wombo, go check him out. He is. I like watching Wombo. He's a very pretty creative guy. He's got some nice things going on over here. Uh, he has a couple of farms, uh, item farms, mob, zomb, zombie farms, mob farms. So up here where he's got a bunch. Whoa, whoa! He's got a bunch of stuff going on over here. Um, and I helped him with that, by the way. Oh, oh! I helped him. I helped him dig one of these out a long time ago when we first started the server. As you guys can see, he's got the new portal going. Ender egg, uh, from the Ender Dragon. Um, his brewing stand. He's got. He, he holds holds this walkway up by these chains right here. As you guys can see, pretty creative. Uh, brewing station. Did I just see him? No. Uh, brewing station. He's got a Batman for a uh, squid. Can't see his name tag, can you? Nope. But he's derping, derping down. Um, his library brewing or uh, enchanting area over here, and then this is his big area that he hasn't completed yet. Um, if you keep going this way, though, there's his villager in there. Uh, keep going this way. This is village garden area. This is if you watch his episodes, this is what he just got done building not too long ago. Um, I have given him so much crap on this clay, uh, or on this clay, on this hay, and using hay for the decoration like this because he uses it a lot. I mean. Everywhere in this build, just everywhere, and I've given him so much crap about it. But to be honest with you, it's starting to grow on me a little bit. Maybe I mean, look at it. who decorates our house with clay, but are with uh, hay with hay. But uh, you know, it's it's eh, it's it grows on you a little bit. Um, this is so. This is like a garden area. One thing I was thinking that I thought he would be cool is if he connected some sort of archway between these ones too um i don't know that's just neat uh oh i was gonna say please no chunk here okay let's f3a this because this is not loading for me there we go um so yeah oh let's turn that off so yeah i came here looking for him because he was afk but i guess he uh i don't think he's here because i can't find him he is back though Ooh, there's gold um, he is back though, and just let me finish. See, he's got, he makes nice use of clay, so that's his green section, and that's like the farms and everything down here. And then the purple section was the village. See a bunch of farms, automated farm stuff. Um, and then the purple, I think it is over here. No, purple is the village. The red over here is, uh, all his animals and stuff like that. His sheep and his, oh, wrong button. What the heck? Does he know those are like that? Wombo, do you know those are like that? Or is... I don't think he knows they're like that because they're supposed to go the other way so that... They're supposed to be like this one. So that you can... What? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> they're supposed to be like that. You can jump on the edge. So yeah. Uh, Wombo isn't here, I guess, though. But if you guys aren't subscribed to Wombo, go check him out. Definitely a uh, creative guy, and I like to watch his videos. Uh, but yeah, he isn't here, so we can't bother him, I guess. Oh, there's his cat. Where's his cat? Where's the cat? He named a bat. Okay, I hear the cat. Where's the cat? I don't see it. But he named, got a name tag on a bat. Did he capture it? I thought he even captured the bat. Maybe I was wrong. He wants to get a gas in here, and with the bigger portals, it'll be pretty, it'll be a little bit easier to do now. Where's your cat, Wombo? You guys hear, it, don't you? I hear the bat a little better now too. Okay, okay. Where's his cat? He has a cat around here somewhere. Maybe it's down there. I don't know where it is. Okay. Oh, he's back. Yeah, me too. So, all right. So we're back here working on the little door that I had mentioned earlier, and I have it completed. So this is the gist of it. Um, 
you just walk over it, hits a T flip flop, goes down, it keeps it down. So you can come over here, you could do your chanting, whatever. And then if just, whoa, chickens? Oh, a couple chickens are joining our, sh our sheep down there. Um, and then when you're done, you just walk back across it and it comes up. Now, the, hmm, these, uh, whatchamacallit look kind of funny there, I thought. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. The, uh, pads, plates looked a little funny there by themselves. So, if I just take you guys down there real quick, you can see it. Oh, I should put some torches down here. Um, so, it's, like I said, it's just a T flip-flop. Uh, the signal comes in here, the input signal comes here, comes down into the T flip-flop, which a T flip-flop just is a gate that will keep its, uh, like keep its state or keep whatever it's like a memory unit type of thing so now that that line is off um this it just like rotates these torches so this torch is active and pushing the torch over here and there's a redstone torch under that and so then it powers this block and then it powers this line and powers those pistons now if we go back up and we were to do it again you will see that this uh, this line activated these torches and reversed the torches again. So then this torch became active and it pushed the piston back over. Now there's no block here that's powered. So this line is off and the pistons are closed. So that is the basics of how T flip flop, T flip flop works. Um, so yeah, so now I have a nice little area where I can have it closed. And then if I do want, instead of ender pearling or whatever, and jumping, now I have an area that I can exit with and then come back in and be mob free. So, I kind of want to do the same, you know, it's going to be the same type of thing with a, with a T flip flop down here, but the, uh, flip flop's going to activate something over here. I haven't fully decided how, what I want to do with this room down here yet. This is just a storage room for now. Um, and I don't know what else I want to do with it. I want, I, I want to build off of it so that it expands and goes down back there or even below here, some type of thing, but I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. Um, so yeah, but uh, we're going to decide. I'm going to go farm that stuff over there and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. So we started to build a little bit on this room down here. Um, as you guys can see, I'm getting it ready. I don't know, you know, I don't know yet if I fully like what I'm doing here um, with this overhang. Oh, you know what? I guess I'm not even gonna need this edge here. That makes it better. That makes it a little bit better. Still don't like this here. This was my main thing is I just didn't like it. I didn't like this being right there. You know what I mean? So I, uh, uh, I think I have to keep that one there though. I think that one must, must, must a stay, must a stay. So yeah, cause that one will come down. That one, that one, that one. Yeah, those ones have to stay. So what this is going to do is it's going to push these blocks down, cover that up when I'm not down here. Which, maybe I should make that glowstone. Maybe I should make a glowstone. Hmm. Would that be bad? Let's test it. Let, let's look. Huh. I don't think that would be bad. I think that might be a good idea. Because then when it's, when I'm, when I'm not down here, mobs won't spawn then. Yeah, that would be a good idea. That, dude, you guys are so, so smart. Like, such a great idea. I wish I could think of stuff like that. But, um, me and, uh, me and Hunter just got done doing a, uh, yeah, I like it. That works. Uh, just got done doing a, uh, nether trip. We went to the nether, had a little bit of fun. And, uh, as you guys can see, we got a lot of quartz. <laughs> um, I think I had like 16 stacks of quartz and he, we both got like 16 stacks or so. He added, uh, I think about 10 stacks of it to there. So... That is definitely taking shape. It will eventually be done. If you guys remember me talking about it once, I talked that it uh, it's going to be a 20 by 20 square of uh, nether uh, quartz, and then I'm going to fortune it all. See what it does. Um, but yeah, so we're just down here building, 
And as of right now, I'm just going to get this little area working and then just to expand it will be easy. So I am, uh, I was building um, pistons is what I was doing before I rudely got interrupted. No, I'm just joking. You guys don't. You guys never are interrupting. Don't ever let anyone tell you you guys are interrupting. Uh, what do we need? We need that, that, and iron. We need iron. That's what we're missing. There we go. All right, so we should be able to uh, put some of that there, put some of that there, put some of these there, and put some of these uh, there. Get some pistons. And then from the pistons, you add a little bit of uh, sticky to the pistons and you get sticky pistons okay so what we're going to um there we go so what we're going to do is we're going to make a t flip flop um so this comes down here we need to uh we need to uh, negate this one more time so if we negate that one more time nope nope we need to uh how should we do this? We could do this. Will that get in the way? Nope, that doesn't work because that sends that powers that block, which powers that. Yep, that don't work. Um, how about does it power this? Nope. How could we do this? How could we do this? We could have a line of redstone. Oh nope. Could have a line of redstone come from there, and do that. That works. And then we could take that line and come back up here. That works. Okay. So then we can do a T flip flop. Let's uh let's see if we can remember how to do this. Um This line goes to the top of the T flip flop. T flip flop did something like that. And then uh it was that that uh Redstone torches on either side. Yep. And then, uh, <laughs> just doing this off memory. Off memory. That's going to be the block that moves. Let's just delete that for real quick. Delete that. Let's just get rid of it. Oh, that's the block that moves. That goes there. So this has to go right, right there. And this one goes right uh, there. And then since this would mimic this being off right now that's what we want and then the redstone from right here would be the outgoing signal nope no gosh what are you doing that right there would be the outgoing signal and then we want this to go straight up, right? This can be put back. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And then that can. So once that gets pushed back, that will activate. That will activate this. Then I wanted redstone we could power this to power that. And then we go. We go. We go get some dirt. And then we go uh, up. And then we can put a torch on that. And if I remember correctly, negate. Yes. And then we got this, which we can put another on there. And there we go. We want this to be in the off state once it gets up here. Is this going to hold? Yes, this will hold. This will still hold. I was just thinking out loud. Oh, wrong one. I did the wrong one on that too. There we go. And there. That should be off. Perfect. Then... Uh, Redstone, we should be able to run the redstone. Can't run it across. Um, do we have the clay? We have the clay. So the, there's going to be clay here. We can run the clay across. Is that going to be at the same height? If I put... Nope. We need this clay for sure. But here's the height of the ceiling, is this one right here. How am I going to run it? How am I going to run a wire? Because you can't put redstone on top of a piston. Hmm. You know, I could.
Could run the redstone right here, maybe. Let's give that a try, see how that works. I didn't want to really have anything going across the top of the glass like this, so that's the only problem. That will work. So then when I, uh, then when we go down and we hit those pressure plates right there. No. What didn't happen? What didn't happen? That didn't even push. Why didn't that push? So I can throw blocks on those. Nope. Yes, I can. Ah, I see. I see, because it's only one. So if, if I stepped on this one, though, that should do it. Yep, that did it. Now that made those go down, right? No, it didn't. Why didn't that make those go down? I wonder if that's even activated. What do you guys think? It should be activated, but it probably isn't, maybe because it loses its redstone. Nope, it's still, it's, a, why? I thought that would work. Huh, it has to go. Do I have to make repeaters for all these? No. Dang it. Huh. There we go. Huh. Looks like I'll have to make repeaters for all those. Okay, I'll uh, work on this a little bit more and I'll bring you guys back. So, after doing a little bit of, uh, a little bit more work here. Ah, uh, rain, rain, go away, come again another day. I like having rain. So we're going to put that down like 20. No? That turns it off. Maybe 10%. We'll do like 10%, because I like a little bit of rain noise. Um, so, I realized that putting the glowstone here and having this come down and hiding it is a lot easier on these corners than it would be right here. Um, I mean, unless if, if I put... So if this was clay, that would hide the pistons. Uh. Huh. See, hmm. I don't know. I wonder if you have... Huh. What I'm trying to think is, I, the light is able to come through there. And I want... Like, when, when these close, right? So, these will close. Boom. So, now when I'm out, there, it's, it's lit. Cause I was having a problem. Everything's lit around here, but I was having a problem with, and that's why these torches are here, this one's here, is that this area right around here, right next to the windows, wasn't lit, um, quite perfectly. This was, but this area wasn't. So now, when I'm not in here, this will all be closed and it'll be, it'll be, you know, sectioned off. And then when I, so if I, oh, that's not going to work. So if I come from... So I'm coming, right? I'm coming down. Need to get some stuff. Get here. This opens up and shows me. Now I can see what the weather's like. It's all nice. What? See? Now, if I were to put clay here, just to just to hide the pistons, and I close this down, what I'm wondering is if I put... If I put a glowstone there, and then the piston extends, will light come through the ex extended piston? I would think it would. I don't think I would have any troubles with that. Um, so maybe that's what I'll do. Because I was thinking maybe I'd just like uh, have a waterfall coming down, and this would you just have a water area, which I'm still kind of thinking of doing. Um, having water come down and just flow over and then flow down and off the mountain. Um, from right up, like, underneath of, of, uh, like, from right up underneath here. Let's see if I can get there. From underneath here, just, like, have it start up here and then just flow down. Which, that could still be cool. And then have it flow down and over this. But then, like I said, then I, that wouldn't solve my lighting issue that I'm having over here. Um, 
Which I wonder, F3. Block lights, 8. I wonder. I know redstone, redstone ore gives off light when you're standing on it, but if I was right here, block light is 8. If I... Nope, doesn't act as any light whatsoever. Okay. Um, so, you know, I'm still contemplating on what I want to do over here. Which I could just do that and then right above here just put uh just put glowstone like right here. I could do that too, just put glowstone right here, hide it with this. So then you you would see it right there, but that's fine. And then just get rid of get nope, 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 nope. There we go. Get rid of all this. You know, and then uh, get rid of this too, get rid of that. So you get rid of that, and then, so then, eh, that would work. And then just have the water flow over that and flow down. You know what, that's what I think I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to say scratch the idea of all the pistons and everything over here. And we will just put glowstone like that, with uh, glass like that, and that right there. That. There we go. Yeah, and th that's what I'll do. I think this this will be viewing, and then that will be uh, all that out there will be uh, this over here will be a waterfall type thing. I like I, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Good idea, guys. Good, another good idea by you guys. All right, so I'll work on that a little bit. So that's what I decided to do. I decided to make it like a waterfall like I had said. Um, I haven't been in the inside to check it out yet. I was going to take you guys with me on that nice little adventure. So let's go check it out. Let's go see what it... Ooh. Ooh. Let's go see what it looks like uh, down here from the other angle. Ooh, right? Oh, nope. Nope, that overshot the roof. Yep, overshot it. Mm -hmm. Just like an Ender Pearl game. I mean, <laughs> let's see how many Ender Pearls it takes to get to the center of the base. Opens up so we can see outside. And, ooh, you know, we might want to have one more go there. Or, you know what, we could. No, that's good. That's good. So, that's what it's going to be like. I like it. I like it. I really... I really do. And then the black light should be perfect. Black light is all good. We don't need any more light in here. So this this is officially finished. Um, at least for uh, this sort of thing. For the storage part of it. Um, we plan on still doing... Yeah, good. Plan on still doing something, maybe. That's why I didn't put chests here. I know you can't put regular chests, but you can put a double... Uh, Lock chest or whatever, trap chest. But I was wanting, I think, to do something with this. And I haven't decided yet. Um, haven't decided if I wanted to take, like, make this a stairway going down somewhere or what. But I'm, for right now, that is, that right there is just going to stay open. Um, so yeah, this is our area. Hunter, uh, you know, Hunter. He's the only other one on right now. Um, he decided we went on our trip to Nether. He had some things left over, so he thought. Did you guys hear that motorcycle? Um, he found some iron horse armor, so he decided to drop that off. He dropped off his armor, which I don't know what I'll use the enchanted armor for. Um, did he drop anything else off? I know he was going through here. He said he dropped off. He dropped off all the stuff that he didn't need anymore, or that he wasn't going to use. Which, oh my gosh, Hunter, I didn't want all that string. You gave me a lot of string, a lot of arrows. That kind of, we're going to, you know, we'll keep that. But we're going to destroy some of this. Just because I don't want to have it all. Um, maybe not the string, we'll keep the string. Um, but those arrows, I don't want all those arrows. So we'll go ahead, oh, I can't, I can't jump over that no more. Close. See, so now we're leaving. Close. It stays lighted though, and now we're good. Good to go. Uh, we'll delete all these, or get rid of all these arrows. There we go, there we go, and get rid of those seeds. There we go. That's my garbage can right now. Um, so yeah. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Looking good, looking good. I like it. Oh, nope, not done. Sorry, it lied. 
Mm, what do we put there? Put a piece of clay? Yeah, I think I think a clay will suffice. I think a clay will be good. There we go. Yeah, even though technically it should be a half slab. So I guess technically I should put a half slab. Yeah, dang it. Dang it. It just... No, 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 no. What is... Redstone, is that redstone? Please don't say this is a redstone anything. Uh-oh, if it's redstone, I'm a... Ow! Oh, it was... Okay. Um, we can we can fix that. If it was just that redstone. What I meant by redstone. Uh-oh. Okay, so it's just the redstone torch to that light. Okay, we didn't mess up any of the redstone for those. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So that means we can put this there, that there, and that that there. Perfect. Now we are done. We are officially done with this storage room. I like it. I finally got a storage room. I've been waiting to get one going. And this, you know, it doesn't maybe not have all the storage I need right now. But uh, if we need to expand it or do anything with it, we will. Um, but like I was saying... I kind of want to put something down here. And I was thinking the smelting room, maybe, uh, or the the uh, this room for these things. Um, I haven't decided yet on that though. The brewing room, but um, yeah. So guys, uh, had a good time with Hunter tonight. So if you guys aren't subscribed to anyone else on the far side, go check them out. Uh, like always, guys. My name's Vilasai, and that's gonna go ahead and conclude this episode. So. I thank you guys for watching. My name is Vilasai. Dream big.